Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel and my art studio. I am Mrs. B, your Catholic art teacher. Last week, boys and girls, you made this really cute Valentine's Day card for your mommy and your daddy. So I hope they really appreciated your hard work. This week, boys and girls, we are in the carnival season. Yay! So boys and girls, today we are going to design a mask. Not the one that we put on our mouth, but a masquerade mask, which is quite, it's ancient, it's been used over the years. And I just wanted us to just uh, create our own, let's get into our creative juices to see how well we can make a mask. So let's get started. First of all, boys and girls, you need your paper. And what I want you to do... I would like you to just get your paper and fold it in half like that and boys and girls with a pencil or crayon I would like you to just um, create this mask shape so you go like a straight line and a curved line like that and then it goes curved like this what i would like you to do after that boys and girls is get your old scissors out and start cutting so we're going to cut the cut the mask out So when we open it out, it should look like a mask, right? So that would go on top of your nose. And so your eyes would be on each side. That's right, boys and girls. Very good. So what we're going to do, we need to put, uh, draw two eyes so that we are able to see through our mask. So... We're going to, um, just on one side, draw a nice, neat circle. Just above your nose. You know, you can measure from your nose to your eye just to see the distance. And then you just draw a circle like that. But sometimes it would be good to just draw a shape that looks like that so that we to make sure that it would fit your eye and then boys and girls what we're gonna do we're gonna fold it up again and then we're very carefully we're going to cut it yeah we're gonna cut it so get the scissors out and let's just cut it like that just make sure that it's not going beyond the marks that we put like that oh beg your pardon boys and girls so what he did I cut it on that side and I went around on this side and I cut it like this like that all the way around like that and then when we open it up you can see um, we just need to add a little bit more for the eye so you can just go ahead and put your scissors like this and just cut around the rest of the eye like that there you go so boys and girls here's our mask so the next Thing we're going to do boys and girls we have to decorate our lovely mask and so let's get um, first of all we're gonna um, what I want to do I just want to uh, using my crayon or my pencil I just want to go over the other eye so that both eyes will be equal or look the same like that boys and girls 
very good. And then I would like us to draw maybe on the mouth a triangle shape like that. A little triangle shape like that. And that becomes our nose. Like that. <coughs> Excuse me. And often on the eyes, we usually have like shapes that goes like that. So we can just do a nice simple shape like that and make a zigzag line to indicate your eyelashes like that. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Alright, so remember when we did our painting last week, we did lines of symmetry. Uh, um, it wasn't lines of symmetry, it's actually a painting Sym of symmetry and it's basically um, what you do on one side would automatically replicate the same or be the same on the other with your painting strokes whatever strokes brush strokes that you made so we're gonna go here and then we're gonna go zigzag 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 and then to the rest so that's pretty much it um, that's we're not going to go too complicated to make it difficult and then um, what we can do we can just add some circles which you're very familiar with doing but we're going to make the circles come down and then go back up again like that to make a shape like you're going around the eye boys and girls And then we're going to do the same down here. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll do the same here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like that. All right. And, uh, Let's just uh, start painting, boys and girls. Let's start painting out up our mask. So you get your lovely paintbrush like that. And then we're going to paint whatever color. Let's do the primary colors. Um, so uh, the nose, we, we can maybe have the nose um, purple color. That's, that's a secondary color, so it's not a primary color. So we're going to have the nose in purple, which is mixing two um, primary colors together to get the secondary color. So can you remember what are the colors which will get this purple color? Red and blue. That's right. Very good, boys and girls. So we're going to have a purple nose like that. And we're going to go continue in that theme perhaps and have the eyes in um, a red color. Let me put it in a red color, the eyes. Like that. I'm just going to go over this and paint it really carefully. Trying not to go over the lines like that. Very good. Let's see if I can do this in real time and be able to um, complete everything in real time. <laughs> All right, I'm going to continue with the eyes, going, uh, doing the little zigzag, painting in between the lines, trying not to go out of the lines boys and girls that's very important and uh, we're going to do it the other side the same thing so we're going to get some red and we're going to paint it up nicely like that <coughs> okay and this i want to add a little bit more because i made it a little bit too fine this line so i just want to just open it up just a little bit so that it can be like that for us. Oops, I think that looks okay. And then we're going to get our big 
exact pins again. Basically the same pattern on one side is, rep is the same thing on the other. So yep, there we go. And I'm going to paint it all the way like that. Right. And then after this, boys and girls, uh, I'm going. We're going to paint the circles in. So uh, let's color the circles in blue, blue on the top and green on the bottom. How about that? So we'll put blue at the top primary color you can't mix two colors to get blue because blue is a primary color it's one of the first colors that you can get and you cannot mix it to get a, um, you can't mix two colors to get blue it's one of the original colors can you name the other two just did the we just used one just a moment ago through the eyes. Yes, red. And the last primary colors is... Very good, boys and girls. Yellow. So what I'm going to do, we're going to use all the primary colors. So we have blue and red. And two, we're going to use two primary colors and two secondary colors. So I said we're going to use green, so we're going to go ahead and get the green working right now, like that. And I'm just going to paint this in green, a lovely green, like that. Lovely. And then when we finish with painting these, we are going to let it dry and I'll get back to you, boys and girls. So, boys and girls, it's lovely and dry now. As you could see, a uh, wind, a gust of wind came and it just uh, blew my paper. I had my window wide open, and uh, while it was wet, I left it to dry and then it smudged it a little bit. But that's fine, boys and girls. What you can simply do is just cover it with paint what i did i took some water and i tried to wash it off but um that's the best i could do so boys and girls it's not the end of the world so we're going to go ahead now and do the background and then last i mean it would not be carnival if we did not add glitter so we're going to add some lovely glitter to the end so that's the most that's the f the most fun part of it all adding the the uh, accessories like glitter and um, gems and stuff like that to it. So we're going to go ahead and do that now after we've done the background. So we're going to paint this in yellow like that. Trying not to go over the line. And um, Some water, wet our paintbrush as we're going along like that. We're not going to make, try not to make any mistakes. <laughs> but it happens, so, and we're not going to be hard on ourselves because it happens. Okay, so boys and girls, this year in Dominica, we're celebrating Carnival. Um... We're going to be having carnival despite, you know, the different um, restrictions. We have to follow the protocol. And, uh, yeah, so let's try to make this mass a beautiful, uh, colourful, creative, uh, happy mass. Um, yeah, so um, I did a mask, but the... I did a competition, uh, there was a competition for um, designing a mask, but it wasn't the mask to go around on your eyes, 
but it was the mask to go around your mouth so the mask so i i entered it and um yeah we're just waiting to see the results but it was fun i enjoyed the process you know it brought back memories because uh i was i am part of the carnival team in convent prep that go ahead and design and, and put together various um, masks and um, not only masks but any the costumes for carnival for the school so yeah it was it just brought back memories and stuff because we at the school we haven't had a um, we haven't had any of that you know because of the social distancing and things like that we haven't had a carnival a, a school band so yeah it's it's very creative and you know um we have to use our talents and use it well and uh, you know all of the time we have to give god thanks for him giving us this wonderful gift so if you have a gift and you usually use it during carnival you have to say thank you god thank you jesus but you have to be mindful of what what the content of what we're displaying during carnival you know because um we also have to give uh have in mind that we don't want to hurt uh jesus sacred heart in anything that we do we must do everything pleasing to god and so therefore yeah it's just something to word of thought you know um during the carnival season it's the time for us to have fun and you know meet your friends and stuff but then we have to be mindful of doing everything pleasing to god we have we know our reasoning we know what is right and we know what is wrong so we have to always in our life try to walk in the path of god do everything pleasing to him because ultimately we want to go to heaven don't we so we have to do things pleasing in order for us to enter his kingdom amen so i do in the background of this uh, mask in yellow and uh, the complementary color of yellow is purple and you can see the purple is right at the center of this mask the nose part yes so yes it's quite a it's quite a thing so i'm going to continue painting until i reach the end we leave it to dry and i'll get back to you to do the final touches so there it is boys and girls lovely and dry and so now the finishing touches are we're going to add some glitter and then possibly in the end we can add some gems so the first thing we're going to get is the yellow shake it your glitter if you have glitter paint that's even better and uh Oh, you just um, add it to your um, subject like that the best that you can I usually dab it on boys and girls when you paint it on sometimes it it gets a little bit too um, runny and sometimes it's not as thick and glittery so i usually dab it on and so that would ensure that it would cover all the areas that i want all right okay just getting some more of the yellow dab it on like that and then you just in the corners that would be fine like that then I'll 
after we've done that side we're going to go ahead and do the other side so I hope you've got lovely glitter. You don't, it doesn't necessarily have to be glitter paint. Um, I'm fortunate enough to have the glitter paint, so I'm going to use it. But you can have the normal glitter that you get, that you add a, um, a glue, and then you just uh, apply your, or, sh or uh, sprinkle your glitter on it. So that's fine. Okay, I'm just going to just go all around your lovely glitter, making sure that you cover all the areas possible. Because with a uh, carnival, as you know, the costumes are really sparkly and, and then shining all different colors and bright and, you know, so that's what we're trying to create that effect. And then when we've done this side, we're going to go ahead and do the other side. I've got some blue glitter, um, some gems. I think I'm just going to go ahead and put the gems on the on the blue. And then you go ahead and you do the other side. So I'm going to add some more paint, glitter paint. And yeah, I'll do the same thing on this side as I did on that side. And then, boys and girls, you have the red the red glitter purple glitter if you have any if you don't have all the different colors of the glitter then you can just go ahead and use what you have if it's just only gold you have then use the gold if you know use whatever you have all right boys and girls so i'm going to cover it all in glitter and i'll see you in a minute there you go boys and girls I've added the glitter to it and it's nice and dry so I'm gonna go ahead now and stick some gems some recycled gems that I'm going to use so I'm gonna go ahead and stick them down I won't put it um, on every I'll miss one so I'll do one um, every other circle. I will add a gem to it just to add contrast and to add uh, beauty. And I'll do the same to, um, I've got a collection of gems in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and get some um some of the green ones and stick them down so let me go ahead and do that i've got some green ones here so i'm going to go ahead and stick them down it's one of the one that you can just peel the back and stick it down like that so that's one done we've got a um, something at the back you can just peel off like this like that and then you can just stick it down like that all right so I, I'll put um, two more on one the each side two more you just peel it off like this without trying not to peel the uh, the glue itself I put that one here and one more on that side and two more on this side so yeah you just peel it off and put it down on this like that and then we're going to put two more like that here and one more and then boys and girls that's the mask complete 
there you are and I think just to add a contrast and to enhance your mask I think you should stick it on a lovely colored paper just to uh, enhance your mask so boys and girls I can't wait to see your mask please share with me when you have done your um mask for carnival god bless and have a safe and happy um carnival season bye